So it happened. The first human patient of Neuralink has had the chip implanted into their brain and can control the mouse with just their thoughts. And according to Elon, the patient is now fully recovered and having no negative side effects from the implant. But like Mark Zuckerberg said in an interview the other day on Morning Daily Brew, I wouldn't want to use that first version of that one, right? You might want to wait until that one's pretty mature. Let's wait until I don't need to have an upgrade on that thing every year. Musk also revealed that Neuralink has a bigger role or bigger goals in mind, with the next being to enable more complex interactions, like controlling mouse buttons themselves in addition to the cursor capabilities from this initial patient. And with the company obtaining approval for human trial recruitment after many attempts back in September this last year, this announcement on January 30th of the first chip being surgically placed into the brain by a robot comes rather quickly after recruitment was initiated and a swift recovery for all intents and purposes. The chip itself is placed within the region of the brain that controls the intention to move, with the goal of enabling people to control a computer cursor or keyboard with merely their thoughts, so the ability to move a mouse certainly ticks a big step in the initiatives within that first implant. Neuralink aims to treat several conditions using this type of tech, including autism, depression, schizophrenia, and even potentially obesity. And with the first product being coined as telepathy by Musk during the announcement on X back on the 30th of January this year, long term, the hope is to be able to control both phones and computers with the end user's mind, and Neuralink is already valued at an astonishing $5 billion right now. Pretty crazy, right? But like I mentioned in a previous episode, Neuralink has been fine for violating previous safety protocols. The monkey experiments were brutal in parts with paralysis, seizures, and brain swelling all happening to some or all of the subjects. And they were also accused of transporting hazardous materials without proper identification. And as I mentioned before, they were also accused of misleading their investors surrounding the safety of the technology. So really, really good intention, but not so flawless execution. And while there's still plenty of criticism for Musk, it is hard to not be impressed with the massively positive effect that he's had on the world that we live in in the future. Will Elon go down as one of the greatest minds that we've ever seen, or will his follies shine a brighter light drowning out some of the futuristic steps he's pushed forward? After all, he is making EV vehicles, making reusable rockets, building household robots, working on a hyperloop, digging holes in the ground to uncongest traffic, and all the while making Neuralink a reality all at the same time. So it's hard to not be impressed with the body of work. And while I agree with Zuck that I certainly want to want episode one of the Neuralink, there are many in the world who could truly benefit from this type of technology, and perhaps it's time to think about how this improves the quality of life for those that don't have the everyday functions that we take for granted. I want to thank our sponsors, Kincannon Business Consulting. Kincannon brings technologies, systems, and expertise to your business to shorten the timeline of execution towards a profitable future roadmap. Other consultancies bring a costly army, Kincannon brings an efficient SWAT team. So if you're looking for a consultancy with a track record of success across many industries, reach out to Kincannon Business Consulting to set up a discussion. You can reach out to them at email at inquire at That's going to do it for today. We're going to talk some more emerging tech next time. Bye, everybody.